Have you ever heard the term human trafficking or sex trafficking and instantly felt fear grip your heart as a parent worrying that could happen to your child? Hi, my name is Jessica Peck and I'm a pediatric nurse practitioner with more than 20 years of experience caring for families with children of all ages and too many times to count, I've cared for families who have found their child in human trafficking. July 30th is World Day Against Trafficking Persons and I wanna share with you as parents, grandparents, and caregivers how to spot and save a child at risk for trafficking, maybe including your own. Every year, nearly 30 million people are trafficked in the world, and nearly 200,000 of those are right here in the United States. One in five are children. There are two main types of trafficking in the United States, labor trafficking and sex trafficking. There are certain risk factors that can make you more vulnerable to trafficking though. Sometimes having troubles at home or family conflict, which we all do from time to time. Teens or families who are struggling with substance abuse or mental health issues or disabilities or identify as gender non-conforming. Now here are some of the signs that you can look for as a parent that your child might be at risk for trafficking. If they are getting expensive gifts from somewhere or someone you don't know, that should be something to look at. You also should look for different behaviors. If your child is acting very secretive online, hiding things from you, using multiple devices, maybe having a phone from a friend, and you're finding things that they're hiding online, that can be a red flag. If your child all of a sudden has a new group of friends you don't know, and they're wanting to keep you separate from those friends, these are all things that should concern us. Well, now that we're all feeling a little bit scared as parents, let me encourage you. There are four things that you can do to help protect your child from trafficking. The first thing that you have to do is recognize that every child is at risk, including your own. Number two, communicate positive messages. So often as parents, we underestimate the value of our words, communicating messages like, I love you, you're special, you're wanted here, you belong. These messages have a powerful protective effect. Number three, know your kid's social circle. Know them online and in person. Know their friends, invest in their friends, get to know their friends' parents and follow them online and tell them never to friend anyone that they don't know in real life. Number four, if you see something, say something. It can be difficult to find the courage to initiate a conversation when you have that parental intuition that something is just not quite right. But if you're having trouble having that conversation, go see your nurse practitioner who will help you have that uncomfortable conversation in a comfortable way. For more tips on how to keep your kids safe and online, visit wechoosenps.org or talk to your nurse practitioner.